guys over right here with another vi uh, gameplay video. Uh, today we're going to be playing Planet Base. Um, it's essentially, you got to go onto a very hostile alien planet and build a base, just just like it says. Um, I've been playing it for a few a lot, so I'm going to play a um, a new game, build a new game, and I'm going to start off on this class S, uh, class F world here. I'm not going to even think about going this one. Um, so. This world, they give you like um, a whole bunch of different challenges you gotta overcome. So, for example, this uh, this world is a light, so it has almost a very low amount of light, um, high density, but high density. So it means so, uh, wind turbines will work, but solar panels, I will need like a massive farm of them. Um, so let's name the base Artemis Base and start the game. I always like to start at zero degrees uh, north, zero degrees east, so right in the center. Look at my little capsule. Looks like something out of um, Kerbal Space Program. Oh, and I'll be doing a Kerbal Space Program gameplay footage soon, just like after I get some controls of the, um, like how to control everything, but because it's a very technical game, so I don't want to bore you guys with a whole bunch of the, you know, menial tutorials and whatnot. Okay, so, first things you have to do is very simple. You have to build one of these, straight off, straight away. Um, how do you zoom out? Then you gotta build an oxygen tank, like somewhere accessible. So I'm gonna start building this way. Um, now I need power, so solar panels, solar panels everywhere. Oh, I need it. I can't. Okay, wind. Oh wait, that's right. Power collector first. Why can't I place it? What's wrong? That's why I'm an idiot. God. Um. Now I can put solar panels down. So I'm gonna do that, and then you have to connect them, and then they start working. Okay. Um. And you need water as well. So I'm going to build a nice and big water container like that um, so that'll give power to the base and it'll let them breathe and that'll give them water to the base so they can work well they won't die of dehydration they will but like not yet they won't die of dehydration yet see there's no water so that's why I'm building the water thing um, so I'm gonna give make this a these two a priority then I'm gonna the first stages of this game you gotta be quick if you're not quick, you will die. That's how it is. There's no ifs or buts about it. You will die straight out of the uh, out of the bat. So now I'm gonna do this: build a small canteen area and speed up time. I can't really do anything else now. They just they've just gotta um, work on their own. See, now they got water, and that's great. But see, all this stuff here. Um, they've got water, but they don't have any oxygen. Uh, they got oxygen, but they don't have any water. Without water, then they won't be able to drink stuff. So I'm going to... How do I... I'm going to um, place inside here stuff that they're going to need. So something to do with food. One thing to do with food. Um, and two things for water. One to sit down and one for entertainment. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to give them the bare necessities. The, you know, Mother Nature's recipes. The simple bare necessities of life. Don't judge me. <laughs> they're all dead. I lost. See? They're all, that's it. See? See how quick you can die if you don't do everything properly? So I'm going to start again. Same place, same name. Um... Zero degrees, zero degrees, and then... Start 
start again. Don't worry, I've, I've done this before. I do have a viable colony. It just it takes a while to get used to um, what you're doing. So I know I know you just got to prioritize certain things to be built. So you need power to make oxygen. Oxygen is going to be the biggest killer in this game. So, well, at least mo lo bleh, 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 uh, lack of oxygen. So, um, the first thing you need to do is build an airlock and an oxygen generator. So I didn't like where I built that last time anyway, so I'm going to build it over here near this mountain range. Um, wait, give me a second, I need to recycle this. So I'm going to build it over here, like that. Then I'm going to build the O2 room here, connect the two. And then that's that's it. That's all I'm going to be doing for that for now. Now I need power source, obviously. So um, you have to have one solar panel. That's just how the way that's how it works. You just have to have one. Um, and see, wind turbine requires solar panel. Um, now the way I have everything built, it should be okay. It should be viable. Yeah, it's perfect. So, because you can't split your base in half, I have to build this in a way that just in case I need to start blowing stuff up to make more room for other stuff, I have to build it in a way that I don't split the base in two, which means doing this. Unfortunately, this is something I'm going to have to do. I have to do this, otherwise it could cause major issues later down the track. Um, mainly because I can delete this now, I can get rid of it, and I will get the resources back from this and these two paths, but you can't split the base into two, so having another path here will keep the base as one solid thing. Um, so now I need to make the uh, canteen area again. I'm going to start doing like this, and I need the biodome as well, so I can build foodstuffs, which I'm going to build sort of like this. And then I'm just going to let everything run its course. Once I once these two things get built. So these will collect any excess energy that's being created by the solar panel and the wind turbine, and it'll at least let me keep the base active during the night. Okay, so now I can start, um, I can start making stuff in here. So I need a table, something to get the people to drink, something so that way they can eat from, and something entertaining for them to do, otherwise they get bored, and if they're bored that means they don't make things properly. What's going on? What's, what's wrong? Everything should be working, I don't know why there's a lack of oxygen, and why the lights aren't on either. There we go. Now it's all working. Beautiful. So starch is used to create anything miscellaneous and plasticky. So this uses plastic, plastic, all this stuff. And metal is used for other stuff. So starch is going to be needed for this. I need a way to create oxygen. So um, I'm going to plant one pine tree just so I can make some sort of secondary oxygen thing without it consuming power and then I'm going to do one mushroom and um, one wheat no one potato okay 
So that should allow me to make enough food and oxygen to keep everyone alive temporarily, at least until I can get a bigger biodome. So everyone's hungry, so I need to make this a priority. Mushroom pads will be looked after consistently by the biologists, and that will ensure enough foodstuff to be created. And once foodstuff is created, it gets placed into this mach machine here. And you have to have one, either like one vegetable or one meat placed in here, and then it converts it into food. Um, a bedroom will come later, not important as it, as right now, because I can just sleep on the floor. Yes, it's not good if they do, but I need... Look, I'm running low on metal. So now's a good time to build a mine. Here. Okay, so, not a lot has happened. About a night, I decided to build a, uh, a dorm, and that'll help keep efficiency up. I need one starch to make... Starch is easy to come by, so I'm going to make um, two beds, which... Uh, three beds, which houses uh, six people. So six people is good enough for the current level of efi efficiency needed. Um, I'm going to be sort of a dictator at this point. It's needed, otherwise I'm just going to die over and over and over again. Um, I don't need a medic yet, I should probably get one, like a medic room, so that way hurt people can be treated. What have I got here? Um, I have two. I've got one medic. I should probably wait though, until I can... I need to collect a lot more iron ore. A lot more. Otherwise, I'm not going to have enough. So I need to wait and wait. I need to wait it out until I even start turning them into iron, metal, whatever. Uh, you know what? I can I can turn processing up now. I guess. So you need an engineer to run this, uh, but you also need an en uh, a worker. Is it a worker? Yeah, a worker to run the these machines, but you also need workers to mine. So now I've got to split my workers' time between creating more metal and mining for more ore. That is risky, but it's a risk I need to take. I'm gonna have my power try I'm gonna try and get my power over here. This being my power collection area. So I'm gonna try and keep them separate from each other. Um so I need a power collector, I'm going to put it... I need a big one. Ooh, I don't have enough metal, really. So I'm going to have to wait. I'll wait it out. Okay, so I have enough um, metal ore stored up, so I'm going to build my uh, power collector now. It will, ho hopefully my guys will start... Um, start fabricating more st more metal itself. But I need to really get <laughs> get um started on this properly. Uh, collect power collector. So a big power collector costs four plus the one connector, which is going to be five. Oh, and that's right. Spare parts to repair them. That's right. These break down. See, look. These break down after a while, and you have to repair these, and they cost spare parts. I need to start being able to trade with people, with other people. So I can build a landing pad, that'll allow me to trade, but I don't really have anything to trade with, to be honest. I don't have anything, uh, I don't make enough metal, I don't have enough people coming in to actually be able to trade anything. This is going to be difficult, but hopefully I'll be able to... It's a strategy, strategy game, 
So you have to think strategically, otherwise you're just going to be eaten up and thrown into soup. Everyone's running around, doing everything. See, no one's making me metal. Why aren't they making me metal? I don't know. They should be. My biologist should be moving food over here. They should. There we go, I've got metal being made. That's good. Um, I should get... I should think about buying a um, landing pad so that way I can get uh, more colonists coming in. Maybe, like, workers. I need a worker and, um, and a biologist as well. More biologists meaning more people to look after my plants, and that means more food gets... So, this is the uh, use to make ratio. Um, the first number here tells you how much your grid, which is the entire base, how much energy it's using, versus how much energy gets made. How much any energy that gets made needs to be higher than how much energy gets used. Look, I'm down to my last energy storage and there's barely any wind. This isn't doing anything for me. Oh wait. Wait, these actually might be viable somethings, because it's making energy. It's making, making 15 out of 15. It's making the maximum amount of energy it can, so... I should start looking at into solar panels as an energy source. Why not? Let's build one large solar panel. It costs seven metal. I don't have seven metal, so I'm not even going to think about it. <sighs> okay, you. I'm going to turn... No, no. Yeah, I'll just keep it like that. And... The waiting game starts up again. Okay, so bad news guys, um, we've run out of spare parts. Uh, so that means we're working on borrowed time because these will start to degrade in quality and if they degrade all the way, cause then they'll break. If they break, they stop working. These things, the power things, are going to be the most susceptible to breaking, so I have to start building a lot. Um, so I'm going to stop the building of this uh, landing pad for now, and I'm going to move all the parts that I would have gotten from it to this factory. The factory will start making um, spare parts and stuff and all that, which is going to be needed at this moment, because if we don't, then we're screwed. So this metal should go over there as well. And also, I've turned off the metal maker and left and the uh, the mine is now off. And I've got everyone working on this bioplastic processor that should build this uh, only build bioplastic at the moment. Alright, so this is ready. This airlock is ready to be built. So I'm going to turn on that and that, so that way. Um, Metal st keeps getting built again. Okay, so now anytime this thing needs to be built, people can just walk from there to there. Which is a lot better than what I had before. They had to walk all the way around. Hmm. Sorry about that. So, this has to be built faster. So, build. So I need uh, two more bioplastic, but we've only got one more starch, so that means we need more starch to be built, like now. Good way to get starch is to destroy something, and I can uh, destroy one of these drinking fountains. I will get one bioplastic out of it, but I need two. And even if I do, that needs one, so I still need two bioplastic either way. So it's not even worth doing, god damn. Okay, I'm gonna 
turn the priority off these for now. So that way they can start working on this. Uh, bioplastic to build the factory now, but not the connector. Um, I decided we needed a landing pad. Um, so now what I can do is... This is a colonist ship and it'll deliver me colonists. So a biologist and a worker. That's absolutely perfect. Um, so now I can slow down or speed up what I need. So I'm going to get rid of medics and guards. Um, and engineers and put 50-50 on workers and biologists um, I'll put 20 on engineers actually as well um, but I can't grow too big so if I grow too big then that'll be bad because I'll be using more resources that I create. That that would be very, very bad. Um, so hopefully having a, another worker, another biologist will speed up the creation of raw materials and the um, keeping food safe and, and all that stuff. So what do you keep vibrating for, phone? Oh, got an email. Okay. So... Now that this has been created, I need to wait for another um, bioplastic to be made so I can make the connecting. That should be made soon now. If anything, you cannot have enough um, workers and biologists. With workers, workers and biologists by themselves, you can have um, metal being made and food being processed, but you'll still need um, engineers to repair stuff. The other, th uh, the other stuff, the medics and the um, the guards are not very important, but they're still needed. If I don't have electricity being made, I can't run anything. So I'm going to turn this off. Um, what else can I turn off? Shit. So now I'm in deep shit. Um, that can be cut off. <clears throat> this can be. See, this is a problem. It's nighttime and there's no wind. So I have literally got to wait until day before the solar panel can kick in. even then, it's not going to be making enough. Okay, so that's kicked in, but that's going to break soon, because look at the quality of it. I need a spare, I need at least one spare thing made now. Okay guys, well I'm going to leave it here on this very great cliffhanger moment. Um, we're going to die. That's it. I'm, I'm going to die. It's not going to be happen. It's not there. Yeah, that's it. So, um, if you like the video, uh, leave a like um, and subscribe if you haven't. If you have any tips on how to actually survive in this game, please post them in the comments. They would be so much helpful. Um, so, I will see you guys in the next video.